any funny or impressive things from when you were a bartender? <gasps> you were a bartender. I was a bartender, yes. not a particularly good one. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm sure you were a great bartender. I was a decent bartender. <laughs> I did the job. I didn't do anything impressive, though. I mean, I, I don't remember... expect you to, like, throw drinks in the air and flip them around or anything. That's but... what I mean. Like, some of my colleagues were, like, training themselves to do that. And, like, they'd have to, like, buy expensive, like, practice bottle kind of things. You had to get ones that were weighted the right kind of way, fill them with water so they wouldn't shatter, but they'd feel like the right kind of material and be able to, like, flip them around and learn how to do that. Whoa. And I tried with those a couple of times and was just like, no, the same for me. I am not dexterous enough. I do not have... I can't even play games properly. I don't have the APM for that. How am I going to be juggling bottles and pouring them into cups? <laughs> Uh, so no, no impressive things from when I was a bartender. Just maybe the fact that I I, I got a lot of tips back then. At least that was good. <laughs> if you're any any like kind of thing like that, if you work as a bartender, you basically live by your tips. And yeah, if you're friendly, if you can talk to people well, that's a better paying job than pretty much any job you'll get that's like supposed to be minimum wage kind of thing. You got you got a lot of good tips. Ah, uh, yeah, just the tip, though. Just the tip. <laughs> oh, my God. Just the tip. Very just great the tip. tip. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> it must God have been it. an interesting time. Oh, yeah. A lot of memories from that. Just no impressive things. <laughs> oh, what's your greatest bartender memory? Projectile vomit. <laughs> <laughs> from who? From you or from somebody else? No, for somebody else. There was a customer. They were a girl. They drank so much freaking alcohol. They were having a good time. I think it was like their birthday or something. Um, they kept coming back and asking for more drinks. And this wasn't a time when I'd been like told when to cut people off and when was like the limit kind of thing. Um, so it just kept happening. And she threw up at the bar, which was one thing. And it was like, oh, that's embarrassing. Then she went to the toilet came back out and by that point i'd already like started to clean everything up it was really disgusting it smelled so freaking terrible she came over and like i i was scared she was going to order another drink because at that point i was like I, no done get out of here <laughs> but she came over wasn't in front of me but rather was to the side stood there for like a solid five seconds while i was just like staring at her for the from the side and just threw up again but it was like six feet over the bar and onto all of the alcohol that was stored at the back. <laughs> and that's just, we had to throw all of that away. We had to do like a deep cleaning section. It was in between like oh. all of the different levels of things. We had like pouring glasses back there. And oh, it was disgusting. It basically like shut down everything for the rest of the night. Dear God. <laughs> Welcome to UK pub culture. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, a lot. Yeah, and that's why you should always be nice to serving staff. Tip them well, and please be nice to them. It's not a great job most times. It, it seems like a very rough job. Yeah, I'm sure she had a good memory of the night, though. So next question. Like she probably woke up the next morning like, what did I do last night? Oh had no God. memory whatsoever. Just like, it must have been fun. And then, <laughs> and then a few years down the line, she'll be like, oh, my God. What have I done? Yeah, there's going to be someone who has like a phone recording of it. <laughs> I'm posting this on the internet. Let's go. That person's going to be like become a celebrity and that's just going to be the first thing that happens. It's like, oh God. did you know in this person's past, they've projectile vomited all over everything? 